In the first quarter of this year, we should tell you that trillions, that's where the T of dollars, were lost in terms of market caps. Uh, but our next guest says that according to history, uh, what's already a bear market could become a mega meltdown. Joining us right now is Stan Soval. He is chief investment strategist at CFRA. Uh, good morning to you, Sam. Uh, that, that does not sound very optimistic, Sam. Morning, Andrew. Well, no, I looked at history for guidance, but obviously uh, it's a guide and not gospel. So we have to sort of prepare ourselves mentally for that possibility. Uh, when you look to the direction of uh, earnings right now, I mean, when you look to the GDP or earnings, it's, we're essentially in a fundamentals freefall. We really just don't know where the bottom is. So if you look to history as a guide, basically says that earnings tend to decline by about 10 percent during recessions. P.E. multiples uh, revert to about 12 times. So the implication, therefore, is that from those two metrics, we could see the S&P below the 1800 level, which would re replicate a bear market similar to what we saw in the early 2000s. Uh, and we also got a confirmation from the first three months of this year being negative. And historically, that has pointed to a full year decline, averaging close to 15 percent. Okay, so we've had people like Mohamed Alarian say, if you have cash on the sidelines, hold, don't buy anything yet, because he still thinks that there, there's uh, some more challenging times ahead. It sounds like you're saying the same thing. The question, though, we, don't, we hardly ever talk about it, is when to sell, especially in a market that's down already. If you're in the market, would you, would, would, would you suggest that? Uh, typically, that's always been a very dangerous thing to do. But if, if, you're, if you're expecting something much worse... Right. Um, I, I have a hard time telling people when to sell. Uh, traditionally, what I find is that, yes, you can look to things like the 17-week uh, the moving average uh, and the 43-week moving average. Mark Arbiter, the former technician at S&P, used to always look to that as a guide to say that we could have harder times ahead. And we are in that mode right now. Uh, and then looking at when to actually buy back in, I find that the market can be a very good indicator. I look at a rolling 15-day intraday spread, uh, and we have, and after we have seen a peak in that volatility, then about a month later, we find that the bottom has been put into place. So right now, I would tend to say, yes, we probably still have more downside potential at this point. Um, but whether I want to really tell somebody to reverse their portfolio, uh, especially if they have lower basis cost and have a big tax bill at the end of the year, uh, I would rather look for buying opportunities than try to catch a falling knife. 